All right, now at four, we want to go to Lakewood, where hundreds of residents aren't getting what they paid for. We're talking air conditioning in an apartment with windows sealed shut. Yeah, it's been two weeks, and with these rising temperatures, residents aren't happy. Lindsay Buckingham reports. Oh, it is now 86 degrees. The thermostat in Tony Prusak's apartment says it all. The tough part here is the windows, because it's a converted building, do not open. 86 degrees in a high-rise apartment with no AC. Be two weeks on Friday. That's the reality for Prusak and the more than 200 residents who live here at the Century North Luxury Apartments on Detroit Avenue in Lakewood. Just some type of malfunction. I don't know uh, exactly the cause of why it shut down the system. In an email to residents obtained by 3 News, Premier Property Management blamed the failure on a faulty part that needed to be shipped from Canada, saying maintenance workers had been working around the clock to keep the building cool. We did see management trucks outside the building today, but Prusak says it's not enough. I think one of the things is just showing empathy, coming on site, maybe passing out water, bringing ice cream, giving continuous updates Dates. Prusak says the updates from management have been sporadic since this all began. However, they have offered some so relief. They brought in these um, AC units. Like this third floor lounge with temporary AC that pumps out hot air and this large patio with a cool breeze. But Jason Schnackner, Ward 2 councilman in Lakewood, says these aren't livable conditions. The fact that the residents that are living in this building and they pay a premium rent, not to only to be in Lakewood, to be in that location that's supposed to be luxury, that they are not getting what they need to live. In a statement, Premier Property Management said in part, we are keenly aware of the situation and have been working on this 24 seven since it last happened on Friday. We have not dodged the issue, nor our tenants, and we have indicated that we will always do right by them. You can read their entire statement on WKYC.com. In the newsroom, Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.